More today about how sophisticated Al-Qaeda's operations really are. A Dutch newspaper reporting that Al-Qaeda has its own scanners to test whether those body bombs can pass through undetected. Now, according to this report, the terrorist group also does test runs with the bombs in European airports. I'm joined now by NBC News terrorism analyst Michael Sheehan. Uh, Michael, I don't know if you've heard this report, but boy, is it terrifying stuff. Well, it is, and uh, I, I think a bit exaggerated as well. The idea that Al Qaeda Central, its its apparatus out there in Pakistan, has sophisticated air, airport screening technologies, I think, is a bit of a stretch. But the idea that some of their operatives in Europe might be doing test runs through European airports is probably something we have to be aware that could be could be happening and is very dangerous. Uh, so the U.S. only has about 40 of these full body scanners. So, so you think this is more about test runs happening, not that they actually have the technology in some sort of big way. Warehouse and are running people through. That's right. I, 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 I doubt that very much. But the idea that they are making some test runs is probably uh, very likely that they do that type of thing with their operatives. Right. Uh, it's still difficult for them to travel around the world, but this is one of the things they're, they're trying to get more sophisticated in passing through our, 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 our X-ray systems. Uh, Michael, we have uh, some, some information that was passed along to us to another one of our, from another one of our terrorism analysts, uh, some new Internet chatter about al-Qaeda in Yemen. Uh, and we're told that this is a credible user who posted confirmation of training camps in Yemen. Let me read a bit to you. It says, uh, people are coming from all areas of Yemen and elsewhere in the Arabian Peninsula, along with qualified trainers from several countries. They told me that some of the brothers from these camps have prepared and are willing to travel to various fronts in the Muslim world. Some of them have already arrived in Afghanistan, Chechnya, etc. What do you make of that? Well, it's very plausible. In fact, most of the time where you see al-Qaeda operatives coming to camps, there's already other organizations operating there. For instance, in Afghanistan prior to 9-11, in Pakistan right now, there are other groups involved in local insurgencies and wars, and that's the case in Yemen. Yemen in the north areas, there's tribal warfare going on there. If you recall, a few weeks back, Saudi Arabia was conducting operations along the border. There's a lot of military and paramilitary activity already happening in Yemen. Now you bring in international jihadis that use these bases to export their terrorism from Yemen, and that's what's happening in Yemen. It's going to require a lot of attention in the weeks and months ahead. Uh, Michael, it always seems that we're sort of one step behind following uh, on, on, on what they're doing, and now, of course, we know that the spotlight is on Yemen, so clearly we know there's money that's already been planned to go there, $70 million over the course of the next 18 months, so, so the U.S. presence will be felt there. But what's next? Let's think about the next step. Is it Somalia? It could be Somalia, though Somalia is difficult for Al Qaeda. It's just not a very good area for them to operate out of. They, they're fairly well exposed there, but they are in Somalia. They are in parts of Kenya, North Africa. Sudan has been a traditional place for them, and they and of course they have operatives in the West in, in capitals. This guy, uh, this this Christmas uh, airline bomber, was from London. So they operate around the world, but their sanctuary will primarily, probably still remain in Western Pakistan. Yemen, and perhaps a few places in North Africa. All right, Michael Sheehan, thanks for your expertise today. Appreciate it, and Happy New Year to you. Thank you, Monica.